it seems It's the quilt my mama gave to me The day I turned 16 Hi everybody, I'm so glad you decided to come in and join me. Uh, I'm planning to do a wall hanging and hopefully teach you how to do it too. The wall hanging that I have um, decided on is this one. It's the guiding star. It's not big enough for a quilt size for a bed or a throw, but it's big enough for a wall hanging, but we can expand it if we want to. So come on and enjoy, uh, enjoy it with me. And we're, first thing we're gonna do is go buy some fabric. So let's go shopping. there thanks for coming I wanted to show you a few things here at Joann's uh, this is where I get most of my fabric because it's got great prices they're not what you would call quilt quality but it's very close so as you can see this line this is mostly cotton and that's what you use for a quilt of just about any kind is cotton unless you're doing a crazy quilt and that's another video altogether so let's just come and look at some of the cotton Okay, we're still here at Joann's. I just wanted to show you some of the different prices that Joann's has. Um, this one right here is what you would call a broad cloth, which is fully cotton, but most of them are always solids. I like ones that has like a print to it somewhat. Right now, this is on sale from $5.99 a yard down to $1.99 a yard. So when you catch prices like that, that's when you want to get your fabric but I'll show you the other fabric that we will be buying tonight. One of the colors we need is just a plain white. As you can tell, white means many different shades of white. So you just pick out whatever you prefer. Um, I do like these sparkly ones, but they mess up your iron, so I tend to stay away from them. But you've got prints, polka dots, all kinds of things. And I think I'm gonna go right here for this polka dot. And right now, the Keepsake Calico, which is what this brand is, is 50% off of whatever the yardage is. For the quilt that we're making, uh, it's got different amounts of different colors. I'm not gonna give you the amounts because that would probably be against the copyright laws. So whenever we start making it, I'll, I'll let you know what you need to buy. But on the video, I'm not going to tell you exactly what we need. Okay. For this quilt, we need whatever color you decide you're going to use. I'm going to go with what it actually has on the pattern. It's the blue because I think it's really pretty with the blue. You need a dark, a light, and a medium blue. So we're gonna just look right here in the blue section, still on the keepsake calico, and we're gonna pick out the colors that we need. Okay, so here's the blue section here at Joann's. Uh, we need a medium, a dark, and a light. So you just look through and you see what you like. Again, here's some with the silver in it, love it. Do not want to mess up my iron. So I'm gonna go for dark. So I could choose any of these. Kinda like this one because it's got a little bit of light in it too. And that would be called a tone on tone. So that means blue on blue. So we'll see what that one goes with. Kinda like this light blue in here. So that could be our light. It's got a little heart swirl in it. Very pretty. So there's a dark and a light. That one looks a little too light. These look too light. I need something in the middle. What about this one? Another tone on tone. Just all that means is blues on blues. So what do you think about those three? I think I'm going to go with that for our main colors. 
Okay, we've got three more colors I need to get. One is a brown, one is a gold, and one is a beige. So I was looking here at the brown, and I actually found one that was quite interesting. Since we're building across here, I thought this brown would be perfect. It's got little red spots in it. I think it would be like the blood of Jesus. So I'm gonna go with that brown. As far as a gold, I don't want it real bright, but I want it to show up just a little bit. This one is kind of a, that's something hiding under there. That one's, I think, would go with the brown and the blue. Kind of show off with the gray, I mean, the, the gold. And then we need a beige to go with that. Two good choices right here. So let's audition them. All that means is bring it out, put it with your other fabrics, and see which one you like the best. I'm thinking this one. So this one goes back, and that's all we need except for the backing and the binding. But we're going to get that another day. So this is all we need for the top of the quilt. Okay, we're on the way to the cutting counter now. This is the fun part.